with every day we be grinding And if you ask me, we the best I'ma be like Yo, that's us with the crazy flow And you gon' hear us on the radio This is how we do every day we be grinding And if you wanna come and test us, I'ma be like Yo, that's us with the crazy flow And you gon' hear us on the radio When I'm spitting all these rhymes What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the 10 Yard Fight I'm Coach KK. This is the Gun Double Stack. This is Volume 10, Part 7, coming from the Spread Playbook. Here are your audibles. We have a high pass and a low pass, which is smash and jailbreak screen. And we have our running plays. Two running concepts is required when you're dealing with the 10 yard fight. We have a read option and we have a trap. What that does, is it makes the, the defense flat-footed he can't just ambush to somewhere and you see the other interchangeables the halfback screen stack out and four verticals we'll get into all of those one thing that you should do is don't come out in the plays that you have in the audibles unless you're trying to do a quick hike you understand come out in something that's not in the audible so you have a fifth additional play you know unless you just guarantee you need to get on the ball and get the snap going all right guys we got a lot of ground to cover lots of ground to cover this guy right here is like the basics of the scheme the way he's playing defense everything is just matched coverage right today we're going to focus on what it means when they base align and what it means when they man align as you can see it's two on two on the outsides he have a linebacker for my running back but who's responsible for the quarterback? And it's the safety. <laughs> That's the man who's responsible for the QB. Just look at it. Two on twos on the outside. Five linemen for my five linemen. He have a linebacker match with the running back. And the alley is wide open. I think that he was guarding the running back in case he do a swing route out the backfield. And that's why we drew him into the middle and we were able to hit the alleyway. Right? So as you can see this time we ran the ball real good and he think the receivers are a decoy so he's gonna bring extra guys to the party and so i got kind of fooled right then because those guys were going into curl flats <laughs> so that's a mental note that i had to take throughout the game and that's what you got to do too you got to take you got to notate how much they base align and man align but if you're just hopping into different formations you don't get to see the tendencies like that you know when you stay the same in these sets and formations you will see them switch up things like you will see what they do versus this and then when when this down and distance occur what they do then and based on what you did previously how did they respond this game is all about putting layers and wrinkles on top of each other you know we're even but you make this move how can i counter it or if i don't counter it are you gonna keep attacking you know so right now I, I have the momentum I'm moving and he's still base aligning and he started off as man aligning and then he started base aligning to bring people to the party right good run so yeah your run game should be 40 percent if you ask me I, I I've played a lot of games in the skiing and you have to run the ball to keep them focused to the middle because the goal is to keep the goal is to find one-on-one -on -one matchups like this prime example so i missed the read right there and i tried to hand the ball off but we got third down outside is two versus two as you can see it's two on two if 17 gets his block on this flanker screen play that two on two reduces to one-on-one -on -one. look at it i got the first down i might have not made the man missed but I got the first down and then we also notated that no safeties equals all out blitz and man coverage that's the previous play he did and he coming out in the same look like this so I'm sending a, a fly two step drop back flick my wrist we block the running back Kawabung bunga guys this is volume 10 part 7 in the first five videos of volume 10 that was 
three years ago that was an ultimate team so we don't have abilities now now it's strength for strength it's, it's really detail oriented we got to look at pre-snap and post-snap as you can see right there pre-snap we had a fly post-snap all we had to do was take a two-step drop back and let it go so pass blocking is vital you know they're gonna slide their line over certain ways you gotta block your running back you cannot forget that all right there's so many similar concepts in this scheme to keep your opponent guessing you know we've hit them with like five or six different things in that last drive so now we're gonna you know it's time to come back to another round this is round two <laughs> let's go so as you can see I'm calling a streak again to the running back ouch that was ugly I had um I had a slant and I had two men and men going in the same area and the goal is to keep people isolated right then I'm throwing off my back foot <laughs> so I'm tripping right here so it's third down now it's, it's crunch time the play call is stack out as you can see with stack out one side of the concept is focusing on the outside and the other side of the concept is focusing on the middle this play is called stack out as you can see right here you gotta be on schedule on script no broken plays cannot roll out you get to look one way when you snap this ball you get to look either left or right and this time I glance to the right because we have outside concepts to the right and so my lone developing concepts was to the left which is breaking inside he don't know this you know our goal is to keep one-on-one -on -one matchups right that right there was key very key because we can attack him everywhere so let's see let's watch him be a clown and play the guessing game you know let's just see how much he tried to guess our plays nice play but that was our fault you know he got the stop right there but that was our fault we could have made a better read all right so once again he's base aligning which leaves him vulnerable on the outside jailbreak screen we try it again and we get yards <laughs> just like that so as you can see the consistency with him is he want to man the line first and then he base the line now it's our two versus his one on the outside now he's trying to bring help out there as you can see but he picked the wrong side then <laughs> guys they can only use her one side of the field they can't use her two times in one play they can only pick one side right and you got to use the sideline to your advantage in this scheme right here you own outside the numbers they don't know that though and one cool thing about the scheme is most users don't do outside the numbers type of plays unless they're going to the counter look at him gonna try to run out there and try to get him a quick pick six <laughs> he's slick he's on the defense end again watch this we send a streak to the running back two step drop back once again Kawabunga. <laughs> man this thing right here is fun when you're scheming you know I was probably dead serious when I was playing this game right here like zeroed in just looking for isolation you can see pre-snap right here um, no one's responsible for the running back that's post snap I probably could have hit X in that corner he's running off his defender but he's clearing the way for you know the running back so sending the running back on a streak is an escape route for the formation but you don't want to get you don't want to do that every down you know that's gonna cause confusion you want to keep him guessing all the time look at this dude right here he's trying to shade outside and he's trying to take advantage of outside leverage now and he's bouncing in and out the holes and the gaps and stuff on defense that's funny and look he got caught flat-footed facing the opposite direction that lets you know he's jumping and trying to chase and react to what we're doing you know we're dictating the pace of the game two on two once again got a big game you know all we need is 10 yards guys this is a 10 yard fight i don't care if i get inches right here i'm ready for another 10 yard fight see we got three yards two yards let's get another 10 yard fight going you know we got 
really we got four downs but we're gonna put our self at three downs to get 10 yards right all concepts are going to the outside right now until I hot routed the slant across the middle of the field and here's something right here to look at once you snap this ball you get to look one way these guys are spaced out outside the numbers this time I looked at the left side of the concept and never looked right and I had circle wide open but I chose the wrong side of the field to work with and he was defending the slant and it was locked up and I had to scramble I try not to scramble on this scheme once you scramble it's gonna be broken plays and you see how all this real estate I'm getting without scrambling <laughs> once again see we keyed him into the middle we lured him into the middle we're running the ball real good so he have to stay honest inside the numbers just because we're spaced outside the numbers that don't mean he can just get out there and leave the middle open so that's how we was able to get you know leverage and one-on-one -on -one matchups we'll look at it from this side from the outside from the coach's standpoint sideline imagine you at the game and you looking at the offense from this direction you'll never see it from the offense's point of view <laughs> you're looking at it from the side of the field right so yeah that's funny right there but yeah man inside the middle we're, we're actually vulnerable inside the middle but because pre-snap we we start off outside and we have so much time to get inside so it's key that you run concepts to the middle of the field you know slants drags inside zones traps and stuff like that and now to keep not see like right here he's trying to play both he got guys in the slots now <laughs> he got guys in the slots he's in the new front look he's in the quarter defense now that's the desperation that he showed that he's displaying now you know we're forcing him into different coverages we're forcing him out of what he want to do guys this is just the beginning we're coming at this thing very differently now so the gun double stack that we did previously is gonna still you know exist you know some of the principles and stuff like that but it's it's more stuff to it now we don't have abilities all right here we go three down linemen we're running trap as you can see he's steady jumping in and out the hole and we get a nice game eight yards i'll take that any day right <laughs> this is a 10 yard fight you'll take eight right let's go 80 percent of the work is done ouch be cautious of that right there you got to set your feet one thing about this scheme right here they're going to learn very early that they can't blitz because that will happen one-on-one -on -one outside he never saw that coming <laughs> man 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 this is the cowboys defense i had to put them on there because you know they're the most put together overall they have the most abilities on defense they have two star cornerbacks i think three i think blair is a, is a star also in the slot but yeah you can just see it though no safeties in the back end got our feet set most of these plays are going to be a two-step drop you don't have to take the ball and go running to the left and to the right and try to find things once you start doing broken plays and rolling out and scrambling you kind of beating yourself you know you shooting yourself in the foot in the scheme so you don't have to do that you got to know pre-snap whether you're going to go left or you're going to go right with the concepts as you can see he missed the field goal right here um, wah, wah. hey that's just how it happens it happens like that sometimes we got to do what we got to do right so at, he got his three timeouts he got to get the ball back desperation mode we got to go get a first down and this is how we do it every day we be grinding if you ask us we the best we're gonna be like yeah that's us with the crazy flow yeah you'll hear us on the radio <laughs> all right guys he took a gamble that's the desperation that we put this guy into we were all over the field 
deep, shallow, mid, left, right, center. We were everywhere on this guy today. There's more to come. There's different looks on defense. There's guys who's going to be out there in quarters. They're going to be out there in 3-4, in nickel. You know, they're going to try to be slick. They're going to try to play both sides from the middle. If you guys want to leave a tip in the tip jar and buy your boy a cold cup of coffee. I like iced coffee. <laughs> a little something, something like that. It's Catfish424 with a K. Anyway, guys, I am out of there. Assalamu alaikum. We do it every day, we be grinding And if you ask me, we the best I'ma be like yeah. Yo, that's us with the crazy flow yeah. And you gon' hear us on the radio This is how we do every day, we be grinding And if you wanna come and test us, I'ma be like